everyone, Amanda here. Thanks for joining me today. So uh, here I've got a stuffed paper bag. It's, it's a basically kind of like a beginner's journal sort of kit um, where I've done all of the kind of like work for you. Um, so if you were new to journaling or you'd just like the look of it, you could purchase this. It is for sale um, for £30 um, and you've got everything that you need to make your first journal. Um, so I've made this kind of thing before a long time ago with like shabby chic ephemera as swaps and stuff and then I saw Yvonne Preston uh, making one of these um, to put a journal in and I've been wanting to have a go for a long time so here we are, I've finally made one. So I've used a kit from Artie Mays called Winter's Tale, I leave a link in the description box to that one. Um, she's had that available for 12 months or more. I don't know if it's from last year or the year before, but I love it because it's winter themed rather than going straight for Christmas. <laughs> um, not everybody celebrates Christmas, but you know, a nice winter one. So this bag is quite a large one. It measures 8 by 10. Um, so I've folded the, the bottom up um, to make a pocket. Alright, so I have covered it front and back with beautiful paper, so it's absolutely lovely. Um, so on the bottom here I've made a topper using some of this mirror board which is like rainbow. Um, just behind there, just to give a little bit of glitz. Uh, this little topper which I've made myself, uh, stenciled it and bordered with paper. So this pocket is filled with things to put in the journal. The journal's inside along with another item as well to help you. Um, so basically everything that you need is here. All right, and then you just add your own, um, your own touch. You could gift it, you could keep it, you could even purchase this kit for somebody to have a go at making a journal themselves. All right, so um, my email is in the description box below if you would like to purchase um, this. Um, I don't know what to call it. Stuffed paper bag journal kit. <laughs> so these two little envelopes are from the kit. I just printed them out a little bit smaller and they are to hold some little items to use. So you've got some tickets there. Um, I can't remember how many is in there but there's quite a few little tickets. I love these. I like to cut them in half and add them to things so that just the numbers are showing. But you can use them as you like. <coughs> And then in this one here, I've done some page tabs for you, um, which I've punched out with my punch. Okay, so all you do with those is fold them in half, ink them up and, and glue them on. So you could add those to your pages if you so desired. Okay, and then obviously you can then use the envelopes as well in your journal. So we've got some journaling cards. Um, so these are from the kit. Uh, so I have backed them on index cards. So there's loads of room for writing. Sewn around them and inked them. So they're nice and uh, nice and neat those. Okay, then I've done three little tags that I've uh, made. Uh, myself, these are three by six inches. I've put the little tabs on the top, and we've got some stenciling on there and some basic collage so that then you could either you when you can leave them as they are, or you could add some lace and some words on there, or a little bit more collage, or do what you like with them. Okay, but you've got three of those. I've also done two of the larger tags from the kit. All right, I've backed them on tea dyed paper. I inked them, sewn all the way around and we've got some little bronze charms with angels on and some seam binding there, some white seam binding. You could undo it, use the charms for something else. I've also put you in the um, eyelets, so they've got the eyelets in so they're all completely done for you in case you don't have any. Okay. And then the back of here is, is, this is beautiful, so I, I shrunk it down ever so slightly. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Um, so that it would fit here nicely so we could see all of it. So when you've done, you can reuse this bag even. You could maybe stuff it with items and gift it. Um, you know, finished it off beautifully. I've put eyelets in the front and the back so that it's nice and neat and tidy. Alright, so they all go back in there like so. Okay. Put them all back in or else I'll forget where they go. Uh, I want the stag at the front. Hmm. 
that one goes in there and that one goes in there so it's nice and layered up and it looks lovely as I said the back's decorated as well so it's, it is beautiful all the way through so we've got seam binding at the top to fasten it you can um, as I say reuse it or you can take the seam binding out and use it in your journal alright it's nice and thick is this paper that the bag's made out of and inside here we've got two more items um, the first one being um, the journal but I'll show you that in a minute because uh, I've done you another wallet full of ephemera here I've made this out of book pages now this actual pocket will be too large to go in the journal Okay, but you could put it in the centre signature if you so wanted and then wrap some ribbon round. But it's too big to glue in. Um, but you can uh, reuse it, you could uh, trim it down to fit. Um, it's layered front and back with lovely papers and this nice topper. And then inside here we've got another little envelope that I shrunk down. We've got some, uh, this is a full page, that I've, I think it's the same page that's on the front of the bag. So it's the same one but I've shrunk it down um, to make some journaling cards. So you've got a set of three there and they're on um, index cards. My brain's not with it today. I'm sorry for me fin and butting a bit. Um, the cold weather's got to my, um, my fibro's not very good today. Um, so I <laughs> feel a bit like uh, my brain's got bricks in it. <laughs> so you've got three of those. Right, what else have we got? Um, and two more journaling cards again I've just lined them on index cards so they're nice and sturdy they've been printed out on good quality paper I've inked them and you can add to that you could add lace to the side you could put some bit of collage you make yourself some snippets with words on and add to those put your tabs on that I've given you for the top make pockets in your journal slide them in and out and then here is just a spare blank one um, for you it's all stenciled and inked um, so that you can have a go at collaging yourself all right or you know if you purchased it as a gift then it's like a journal starter kit I suppose <laughs> I'll tell you what if somebody had sent me one of these when I first started journaling because it sure it gives you a really good idea of, of where to start and what to do um, and then from there on you think right I'm off I can do it myself <laughs> so I've made a, just a slim journal here it's not massive but there's enough pages there and then obviously once you've decorated it it will fill out so this measures what does it measure it's just ever so slightly larger than a TN it's five by eight and a quarter so it's not a full size journal because that would be five and a half and it's cut down slightly but not as small as a TN um, so then it's a nice size but it's not overwhelming it's sewn all the way around it's pearlescent card doubled up so there's two layers of card there so it's nice and sturdy and then this is a pocket and inside there is another journaling card uh, with another little bronze um, charm there and again that's backed and sewn all around I'll put that back in in a minute so here's your journal for you to have a go at okay I'll just put a plain um, piece there which is from one of the pages in the kit um, I'll leave the link in the description I can't remember if I've said it as I say I've got brain fog today um, I will leave a link in the description box below um, to the kit and also my email etc and my Facebook so you know where to get hold of me. So we've got 40 pages front and back okay, and also a doily and a paper bag because I don't count those as pages. Right so the first one here is this beautiful image again from the kit back to on one of the blue backing pages. We've got a doily and a paper bag for you to put things in and some lined paper, tea dyed, this is genuine vintage music paper um, more printable from the blue kit from Artemis, I'll leave a link for that as well and on the back is some graph paper and more tea dyed, um, more vintage new, uh, paper so if you want to write on that you, can, you could have a go at putting some gesso on there or doing some spraying or you could just leave it as it is and write on it and add pockets and obviously I then put all of the ephemera that I've made for you inside your journal um, sorry if you can hear my dogs obviously the fireworks have started again 
and then we've got that one and that's the centre and it's tied in a lovely bow um, so there you go um, so that is a fantastic little kit for you um, either to purchase as a gift as I say or to try yourself if you've never made a journal before um, or you just like the kit because <laughs> it's a beautiful beautiful kit so there you go thanks for watching take care and I'll see you again very soon bye